The wind is almost all you hear now at Songbird Farms. Welcome to the ghost town of our dreams. Adam Nordell and his wife Johanna bought this farm in Maine in 2014 to raise organic produce and a family. Seven years later, they learned their land was riddled with chemicals called PFAS, a family of thousands of toxic compounds that last so long in the environment, they're known as forever chemicals. The toxins at Songbird Farm were traced to sludge. The solids left after wastewater is treated, spread there as fertilizer in the 1990s. Nordell says tests found that their water and some crops had dangerously high levels. The level in his family's blood, he says it was 250 times higher than average. I feel like I have a poorly wired time bomb inside of me. While Maine is leading the way in identifying farmland contaminated with PFAS, a recent study estimates that sludge, like what was applied here, has also been spread on around 5% of all farmland in this country. Not all sludge contains toxic chemicals. And in an email to CBS News, the FDA said the U.S. food supply is among the safest in the world, adding that it tests food samples. Very few have detectable levels of PFAS, and those that do are low. Elsie Sunderland studies PFAS pollution at her Harvard University lab. How would you characterize the federal government's approach toward PFAS? I would call it uh, ambitious, yet fragmented. You know, if we're really concerned about PFAS and our everyday exposure, um, we should be proactive and we should be banning these chemicals from non-essential uses. What is it like for you to come back here? It's, it's pretty hard for me. Back in Maine, Nordell has turned from working on his farm to pushing for new laws to help other farmers with dreams spoiled by forever chemicals. Roxana Saberi, CBS News, Unity, Maine.